Yo, what is good guys? I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an ambient Ken Carson type beat, but it's still pretty hard. I just called it ambient because it's a little more ambient than my usual synth stuff, but let's get into it. So a big part of this beat is the fact that I use the pad instead of a synth. So it's not as like harsh or like crazy as like my other Ken Carson type beats. You know, it's actually really soft, you know, really vibey. So as you can see, this is the chord progression that I went with. And I wanna get a little more in depth with like the music theory and stuff. So F minor, what I've noticed from like the beats that i make is like really like nostalgic sounding you know if you want like that old playboy cardi type vibe where, like he's just vibing on like beats and stuff like f minor is like the skill you want to go with but i also think it goes with like a lot of ken carson type beats because like the ones he does with starboy and out of town are also like really nostalgic and happy sounding you know they sound sad but happy at the same time you know i don't even know but f minor is definitely the skill you want to go with and that should help you make your chord progressions you know a lot easier so yeah i chose this pad but i also added like a little bit of reverb to it and this is what it sounds like Then I went and got this bass and I pretty much just followed the root notes of the melody. So I followed the root notes of the melody, but I didn't create like the same exact pattern. So as you can see, I added like this little extra note right here, but it's still like following like the bottom notes of the chord progression. So I just added this note because it added a little more bounce. Then I went and added this pluck melody right here, and as you can see, it's really repetitive, but you can barely even like really hear the melody because I wanted to portal and added this stock forever delay plugin. I wanted to portal and added this stock forever delay preset, and this makes it sound like it's, you know, stuck in like this forever delay, you know, it's stuck in like this portal where like it just be playing the same exact sound, but it just made the sound like really like vibey, and you know, it was just like another layer that I could add to the chord progression, you know, and consider like these pad like type beats are like really simple in a way like you really don't want the basic chords to be that simple you know you really want to have some ear candy so this is what i added And then the final thing I added was this lead. So I pretty much just played this pattern and repeated it for two bars. And yeah, you know, I didn't really add any effects. I just let the preset do its thing. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole melody. So if you just create like four sounds that work well together, like you really don't have to have like 10 serums or 10 omni spheres like open. Like you can just have like three or four sounds. And as long as your sound selection is good, as long as your melodies are good, like you really don't need that much. Like artists don't like really complex beats. They really like simple stuff. So for my drums, I pretty much just started out with a two step and just added some triplets wherever I saw fit. So as you can see, I added the triplet at the second part of like a bar for the first two bars and then at the end of every two bars i added another triplet then i just got this clap pattern and i pretty much just went with like the normal clap pattern except i added an extra one here And yeah, I really didn't add any snares, any open hats or anything. I left it really, really bare bones. So yeah, let's just get into the 808. So for my 808, I pretty much just followed the root notes on the melody. So as you can see, I'm back in the chord progression and the bottom notes were C sharp, F, C sharp, C. And as you can see, my 808 follows the exact same pattern. So that's how you keep your 808s in key. You know, you really don't want them to be out of key. Like I guess sometimes it might work, but usually like artists and stuff don't really take your stuff seriously. If like, even like your 808s aren't in key you know what i mean so make sure you guys focus on that you know it's really simple just follow like the bottom of the chord progression So as you can see, I turned up the velocity all the way up. Then I went to the 808 and turned down everything except for the hold. I put that all the way up and I got this box envelope. And then I turned down cut self. And that's how you keep your 808s like really clean. And then for my mixing, I added the soft clipper to the master. And for that pad, I obviously added reverb. And I added this EQ to it. Then for that bass, I added this EQ. For that pluck with portal on it, I added no EQ, no filter. And then for the lead, I just added this EQ. So yeah, that's pretty much all of my mixing and stuff. So for my 
my arrangement i kept it really simple as you guys can see it's pretty much this section like repeated over and then at the end i added like a little outro where the volume goes down so considering the arrangement is like really simple so as you can see i removed the 808 in some parts and some parts i removed all of the drums all together just to like make it hit when like a new part comes so as you can see it'll sound like this So yeah, that little pause right there really gives it like a lot of energy for when it drops again. And that's how you can add some variation without even like adding a new sound. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and sub. It really helps me out. And also follow me on Instagram. All the links are down below. And yeah, here's the full beat. <laughs> 